Okay, now, um, week number two, we're dealing with systems, cybernetics, and information. Our first lesson is perhaps the most important. At least it is, in my humble opinion, and also in the opinions of graduates who have gone on to work in the tech-oriented uh, uh, business, uh, it is also the most abstract at least when learning, whether you're at home or even in the studio uh, at Shepherd, uh, where we are listening and watching things happen. I, I think this topic is easiest learned by doing right hands-on, on the job, uh, with some form of mentor, um, uh, or you know by yourself learning by, by doing. And uh, so that's a plus for this at-home version of the class because you will be responsible for all of your own production work. Uh, true hands-on learning by doing. Uh, in the TV studio, it is easy to hide behind those who take quickly to the material. Here, you take responsibility, but I will always be here to help. Systems theory, cybernetics, and information theory sound daunting. Just adding the word theory to anything can cause one's eyes to glaze over. But, but what we're, we're looking at a set of interrelated ideas composed by pioneers of communication studies. These were experts who were trying to solve technological problems during World War II. Electronic communication, radio and TV, audio and video, were developed and improved during the war uh, and would prove to be a useful peacetime boon. Uh, each of these theories is, is not esoteric in themselves. They are concerned with the ways communication systems can and will work. They answer questions. Uh, how can multiple components be combined? How do we know when things are working? How can we take phenomena such as light and sound and reduce them to something simple like seeing and hearing a newscaster? Third time. We need to know how any and every production system, no matter how large or small, works mostly because things don't always work. In fact, if there's a constant in production, it will be that something on any given day won't work. And unless you are in the best possible market, you will be responsible for either making it work or identifying the equipment to be replaced. This can usually be reduced to turning the equipment on or plugging the equipment in, but it's not always that simple. When you're doing ENG work, electronic news gathering, troubleshooting a multi-camera system or attaching a new mic to your computer, the, the logic, the approach to troubleshooting is the same. Map the system from the source, for example, light or sound to destination, for example, camera or recorder, uh, microphone. Uh, this task is so pervasive that regardless of your job, your value will be determined in part by your ability to solve systems problems. It is worth noting that as theories, systems, cybernetic, and information thinking is useful in a lot of applications. Theory comes from theorin, meaning to look on with abandon, uh, to abandon oneself to the cosmos. Right? That's from, from Habermas. So in a sense, theories are about ways of seeing, recognize that things can be seen in different lights, and recognizing that different persons see things in different ways. These theories have proven useful in business, economics, mathematics, ecology, and other fields. They have also been used in communication theory, and here we have a, a problem. Systems, cybernetics, and information theories were originally mathematical models that deal with combining technologies into larger aggregates, the systems, watching the function of a system, cybernetics, and dealing with noise in that system, information theory. When the goal is mechanical, technological, these theories will work. Uh, we have mass communication technology because of them. However, However, these ideas were later applied to interpersonal communication. While useful as models, we call this heuristic, uh, they were used to explain the nature of human communication. But a, a group of humans is not an aggregate. It's not a system. Our perception of feedback is more highly attuned even if less measurable, that is, it's not cybernetic. And communication is not a signal passing through a channel, right? Communication does not reduce itself to information. Um, and information has a very special meaning here that we'll, you'll see in your uh, connected presentation. Be careful if you see or use these theories to explain human communication. They don't work, and they weren't meant to. But if you want to get your equipment working, Systems, cybernetic, and information thinking will serve you well.